Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel for today's video finally finally I will be trying out the Joa brand so you guys know I bought a whole bunch of these goodies months ago months ago to try out this brand first impressions and finally <laughs> my husband is over there filming as well so you know I got these guys months ago to try them out and finally today I decided to go ahead and sit down and film a look trying these guys out so there are a few gems I found today and a few misses I had a little bit of a mishap a little bit of a mishap you guys will see but I did find a few really good items, really good items I definitely will be repurchasing. So if you guys are interested on how I created this look, then go ahead and keep watching. Finally, finally you guys, the day has come to finally go ahead and dip my toes into this makeup. So, I actually have two bags here. So with the first one, I have purchased a few of these items which I did show you guys last time. And then the other bag, I got a few other items that I never showed you guys. So I guess, moving on here. I do have the Truly Yours Natural Finish Foundation Drop and I have gotten this one in Sun Beige. Happy to try this one out. Happy to try this one out since I think this would be a perfect time to try it out since this is what I've been looking for. Something a little bit more natural right now for the summer. Something not so heavy. So I guess it works out for now. So this is the Selfie Ready Pore Minimizing Primer. So I guess I'm going to start with this guy. So I zoomed you guys in and let's begin. does feel like a pore minimizer. Silicone-y. So now moving on to the foundation. Dropper situation. So I'm not sure this would be with my fingers or my brush. I usually use a brush. So we'll see. Actually, pretty decent coverage for the natural finish and also I didn't use that much I liked how it covered up up here since I bleached my roots two days ago and it was rough right here yesterday really really rough I think I like it I 
guess I'll see how it wears today, but we might have a winner. And now to go in with the full cover concealer. I got this one in Classic Ivory. Although this one is this kind of packaging, so... It says Classic Ivory, although... It's kind of dark, so not brightening. Maybe I should have gone a lighter with this one. Need all the extra coverage. Need all the extra coverage up here. <laughs> Maybe just a tiny bit brightening, a little bit, seems to be okay, although it's still, I don't know what this is, right here, I can still see that little bump there, but I think potentially it's working, I've actually not worn concealer under my eyes. I've only used it as spot concealer sometimes, but I haven't really been wearing concealer for quite a few weeks. Let's see if I can add a little bit more there. And if I would say full coverage, but it's not terrible. So now to powder. Oh, it says translucent, but looks like a white powder. So while that bakes for a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the brows. So this is the Precision Brow Pencil in brunettes. So, we'll see. Has a spoolie on one side. Might as well brush them. And then the pencil on the other side. Trying to go in as light as possible, but well, she's very pigmented. I'm going in lightly, lightly, but brunette is not my shade. But I think I like this pencil. Really like the fine tip. So maybe next time pick this up in a lighter shade. So let me go ahead and finish off with the other eyebrow and then I'll be right back. So I finished off the other brow and wiped off my bake. So I have to say, I actually really like this brow pencil. I like it a lot, besides the color being wrong, but I really, really like it. It's so easy to use, easy to maneuver. I really, really like it. I think I'm gonna pick up another one in my shade because I really really like it. I love how thin it is and how easy it is to use. I like it. And so far for the powder, my face is actually really nice and soft. Very very smooth. So I guess moving on to the rest of the face now. So I have this guy here. 
So I got this Be My Everything Blush and Bronze Palette. Which I think these guys were like $10.99, I think. So I don't know if it was $10 or $11, I think. So this would be a gradient one. A gradient. So I guess you have two lighter blushes and the bronze. I like how it's buildable. Nothing too crazy pigmented. Can build it up. So moving on to the blush. So I have two options, a lighter one and a darker one. Let's mix. Came off kind of white. What? I don't know what's going on. Okay, better. But I don't know what happened there. It was coming off extremely light, light pink. Let me try going on just the deeper side. a very very light pink blush that doesn't go with my skin tone just coming off a lot lighter uh, not too crazy about the blush the bronzer I did like, the blush not so much. No. So I guess now I can go ahead and move on. Usually I like to leave the highlight for last, depending on what eye look I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into this guy. So I see here a lot of them are shimmer. There's only one matte. So all shimmer except for this guy. So let's see what happens. So I guess to start off, I'm gonna have to go in with the only matte Bergen and just go in very, very, very lightly. Actually seems to work well. Just going in very, very lightly. Now going in, I guess I'm going to go in with 
the same shade, just a little bit more, concentrating on the crease. Not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing today, something light. Since I don't have a lot to work with here, I think I'm going to go into... I'm gonna go in with the shade Night Out. A little bit on the crease, which is the reddish one. I'll grab a little bit more of Birkin, the only matte and work a little bit on the outer edges. Then I'm gonna go back in the crease and use that same shade to deepen it a little bit more. So they seem to be blending out pretty well. Trying to soften that up. So she's doing pretty okay. So about there, a little bit of kick up, but that never bothers me. I just blow it away <laughs> and better. So then to decide on what shimmer and if I should do the outer V, wondering. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in. So back in with Birkin, the dark brown. Oh, to decide on a shimmer. So we have these three. So we have this one, which is a money sign. This one is Rose. This one is Baby Doll. I think maybe I'm going to go in with Baby Doll to lighten this up. To maybe Baby Doll. Let me see it here. So, a little subtle, nothing too crazy. And for the lower lash line, I guess I'll go in with Birkin. <laughs> quickly do the other eye and we'll go ahead and finish up the eyes so now I'm gonna go into bubbly for my I guess my highlights do it for my inner corner and my brow bone not bad
So some fallout in the pan, but actually there wasn't any fallout here. So that was pretty great. So I guess now we can move on with mascara and eyeliner. So back to it. I ran out of charge, I had to switch out my batteries. So I have here the Eye Candy Auto Eyeliner. No, this one is in black. Black is black and it's an auto eyeliner. So no need to sharpen. So I think I'm gonna go very lightly, very lightly on the upper lid and then also to the waterline. haven't really lined up there in a while, so a little bit rusty. I would say it's not the smoothest eyeliner, a little bit creamier would be nicer. Yeah, I would say not the smoothest. It's not that creamy to be able to just glide it on. So let's see on the waterline. Still not the greatest. Not the greatest. And now for some mascara. So this is the Ice Cream Ultra Volume Mascara in black. Regular wand. Just your regular wand. So I would say this is a very light formula, but you can definitely build. It's nothing too crazy. So let's see with two coats. All right, so I would say better with two coats. So like I said, it's buildable. So and now moving on to the rest of the face. So moving on to highlight. <laughs> so my husband coming back from the gym. So actually now, since the blush didn't work, I actually used a little bit of the shade Night Out from the eyeshadow palette, even though it's a shimmer, but I needed some color to my cheeks. So for highlight, I have this Be My Everything highlighter palette. Comes with three shades which I don't think this one would work. It's a little bit dark. It's a little bit dark even though it says champagne. So we have a pearl, which is a whiter one. We have a sunbeam, a more, I'd say this is more of the champagne one. And then you have a champagne. And then for this one, they do have different skin tones for this one. And this one is the medium. So, let me see. Let me swatch some. This one just looks like white powder. Better. Alright. So then let's see down here. So that one would be pearl. 
sunbeam. I think maybe that one. And then the champagne. So I think I'm going to go for sunbeam. Very powdery. Wow. Powdery, but she's very, very blinding. I honestly did not expect that. I really, from looking at this, I did not expect that. Oh, I would think just for that middle one, it's really, really nice. Because I'd have to see with the lighter one. See, it kind of shifts. Yeah, it kind of shifts a little bit pink. I have to try that one out. But this one's really, really nice. Oh, yeah. Very blinding. So I'll zoom you guys out a little bit. So far. So I guess now I can go ahead and move on to a lips. So I have the What a Matte Matte Liquid Lipstick and the shade Rose Berry. So I think that would definitely go with the eye look. Finally got this guy open. This took a while. Mine looks a little bit bent, a little bit crooked. Yeah. So, she's a little bit more pink than I would have liked. A little bit more of a lighter pink than I would have liked. Honestly, it doesn't look... looks more mauve in the tube. Kind of reminds me of the Jeffree Star mystery shade in the summer mystery boxes. A little bit pinker than I would have liked. So now I have the Selfie Ready setting spray in matte matte me down when i got this when i bought these guys a few months ago i was actually more oily so hopefully it's not too matte so regular spray regular pump I do wish I'd kind of gotten a gloss to top this off with, make it a little bit more summer. But it's actually not, it's not uncomfortable, it's not an uncomfortable matte. And there you guys have it, the completed look. So a few hits, a few misses, but some new gems found here. Definitely a few gems. So. I'm excited, I'm excited. I definitely, I really, really liked the foundation drops. Actually, I did really good with the shade match. Did really, really well. I do like how it sits on the skin. It's very natural. Just see a little bit of lines here, but it's nothing too crazy. I do like how it gave medium coverage. Did pretty good. The concealer, not sure about this one. Not sure, I guess I have to keep trying it out, but I don't know about that one. Have here the primer. So I don't know if it's the primer or the setting powder, but one of these two 
made my skin actually really really soft not sure which of the two it is one of these two so for this guy I don't like the fact that he is white I don't like the fact that he is white but doesn't look too bad on the skin and actually doesn't translate as white so I would say it is translucent then the mascara the mascara I guess with two coats it actually works out pretty well it's actually really nice the eyeliner not too crazy about I know there's better out there so I would skip out on this one the brow pencil however definitely a yes definitely a yes so overall now it actually doesn't look that bad the shade but I would definitely go maybe a little bit lighter but I really really enjoyed this one I would say maybe favorite definitely definitely a favorite and I would say coming in really really close as a favorite would be the highlighter palette as you guys saw very very blinding especially this one so play around with this one a little bit more the darkest shade actually it doesn't look too dark so I would have to play with this guy but she looks like a winner the birthday suit palette I wish there were some more mattes in this but all in all she did perform pretty nice really love the fact that there was no fallout so that was pretty great especially for it being so many shimmers but all in all not too bad so I would say the flop in this would be definitely this guy the blush and bronze palette the bronzer was pretty okay not too bad it's actually really really light you have to go in a few times to actually build it up the blush however definitely no I don't know why it did that to my face but I will not be keeping that guy so and this guy the matte setting spray I don't know I've been actually having some dewy ones so I'm not sure about this one again I have to keep trying that one out but we'll see and the lipstick even though it's a matte, it actually, it's actually a very comfortable matte. Very comfortable matte. Really comfortable, actually. So a few hits, a few misses. But I did find a few new really good items. So you guys, that will be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up for this long-awaited video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Thank you for